Thank you for attending today's cabinet learning series focused on document templates. Templates are an integral part of SAFE. They perform a number of important functions that make SAFE simpler to use. When filing documents into SAFE, using a template will name the document for you. The template also defines how you name the document, where you file the document, and allows you to assign additional parameters to a document such as version control, access rights, and retention policies. Templates establish a company-wide naming convention for each document filed in the SAFE. We will go over the benefits of templates in detail today. I'm going to spend 10 minutes on how to use templates and then another 10 minutes on how to create templates. Okay, so let's start talking about some of the benefits of using document naming templates. First and foremost, templates help you eliminate manual data entry when you're bringing in new documents, whether you're scanning or importing them. So in this case, if I scan or import this drug-free workplace policy acknowledgement form into SAFE, having the document naming template already pre-configured allows me to save this document using this title name without having to do any data entry. Another important benefit of templates is that they enforce consistency on how documents are named and where they are stored. So for example, for this document, the annual employee performance review, with the template that I pre-designed, we're going to apply the document, the, uh, excuse me, the date, the name of the document, and then we're going to use the folder index values for Angel Anderson since we're in her folder. So we're going to name the document with this format. Again, doesn't matter whether Bill, Bobby, Rob, Kevin, Jill, whomever brings the document in, they choose this template. It's going to name it in this format. Furthermore, it's going to ensure that I put that performance review in the tab for performance reviews. In this case, I've got one called performance appraisal. If I was in another tab, let's say background check, you can see that the performance evaluation or performance review template is not even available. So because we can assign templates specifically to tabs, we can enforce where documents are stored in a folder. And of course, with the template, we can enforce how the folder or the document's going to be named. Sometimes you're going to have templates where you're going to have to enter in some data. In this case here, we've got an invoice. So I've got a template here called Invoices, and I'm in the Invoices tab. Simply just need to type in the information into the fields. Notice that the fields are red. That's prompting me to have to type in that information. I try to file the document away without filling out these fields, I'll get a uh, required fields missing uh, message and I'll have to go back. So notice too how the invoice.pound part is in braces or brackets. Uh, what this basically is saying is that, hey, we're going to prompt the, the user to type this information in here. So I'll type in 120, 47. And go to the next but if you look down here at the document title area the word invoice.pound is not going to be part of the document title just the, the information from the field that I'm typing into becomes the title so now if I go over to invoice mount and I'll scroll down to that and type in 482 you'll notice that now becomes part of the document title as well too from here I can simply File away. Here's another example of a template designed so that there's virtually no manual data entry required. So in this case, I've taken an Outlook email and dragged it over into SAFE. I've assigned it to the Correspondence tab, and I've got a naming template called Legal Correspondence. I'm using a date format such as this. I'm in Nate's folder, so we're automatically going to apply his name to the document title. And I have correspondence in red, which again means it's a corresponding, or it's, excuse me, it's a required field. With that said, I have designed a pick list to define what type of correspondence this is. We actually got the idea from this template, for this template, 
from one of our current customers in the legal market. So I can simply choose correspondence with client and it titles the document accordingly and I can file it away. All right, let me show you another great example for using a template in SAFE. I'll simply open up Angel Anderson's folder, go to the Timesheets tab, and click on New. With SAFE, I can create templates or create documents inside of SAFE. I'm going to choose a time off request form. So with the template already being defined, I'm going to name it with this date format and time off request form for Angel Anderson. So the title of the document is already there. I click on OK. And in this case, it's going to create a Word document using a manager called Word Merge. And in this case, I've actually taken data from Angel's folder index value to populate that form as well. From there, all she needs to do is fill out the rest of it. Click on Close. And it's automatically going to be saved and safe. Another example would be an expense report. In this type of case, instead of being a Word document being created and safe, I'm going to use a PDF form. So I go to New again, PDF Forms, and Expense Report. Again, it's going to auto tile the document, so I don't have to type or manually enter in any of that data. Just click on OK. And now it's going to launch a PDF form. Again, I can pre-populate some of those fields. I can then add in additional information as I see fit. And when I'm done, again, just close the form. And it brings the form into safe and it saves it. In this case, I had some post-creation uh, on that template as well, putting it into workflow. Okay, now that we've seen a couple of examples of templates and how they're used in SAFE, let's go to management, the management console, and I'll show you how to add and create templates. First off, you go to the templates section in management. You can either click on add, edit, or delete. And in this case, we're going to create a new template, so we're going to click on add. So first off, the name, the name is what you're in, going to call the document internally. It's not actually going to be, this build is not used for where you actually title the name of the document. So we're going to do a reference letter. And I'm going to decide not to use any document security or retention. And in this case, now I want to assign this template specifically to a tab in the HR Active Users Cabinet. So I click on Add. And I'm actually going to apply it to a repository called Myco Industrial Supply. And I'm going to type in Application. And we're going to go ahead and just apply this template to be found only in the Application template in the HR Active Employees Cabinet. So that's step number one. Step number two is to choose an associated manager or file type for how we would store this document in SAFE. I have a Word document, so I'll click on Add. And now I have three different extensions that I can choose from. I'll go ahead and choose DocX. And if I wanted to add the Doc extension as well, I could do that too. Now, in some cases, though, you might get a letter of reference or a reference letter in the mail and you'd be scanning it. And so with templates and managers, I can assign multiple managers to one template. So this is a scenario where I can either save it as a Word document or as a PDF. And I'll click on Next. S segments. So step number three is actually where you set up the naming nomenclature of your document title. So first and foremost, I click on Add, and I have my segment. One of the great things about templates is, is I have all the system-generated information at my disposal to use. So I'm going to use or add title 
or add the date, excuse me, as part of the title. And I'm going to use this date format with the year and the month and the day. So I cl simply click on add. I can click on ID here as well too. And now this is a reference letter. So in this case, I'm going to type in the name of the document here. So it'll show up. And since I happen to be filing a reference letter in a specific employee's folder, I'm going to choose an index value for their name to automatically populate that. So it's really important when you're building those, these, that you know where your index values are for your folders. So I can take these, these uh, excuse me, index values and automatically populate the document title. So in this case, the first name is index level two or index field number two, and the last name is index field number three. So I'm going to go back into management and I'm going to click on the ellipse button and I'm going to simply go down to where I see the index folder index values and I'm going to choose two. I'm going to click on add, go back in there and click on index three. Click on OK, and now I'm done. Option four, or step four in the template creation area is post creation capabilities with the template in regards to workflow, email, printing the document, or saving it actually to a hard disk or outside of safe. And we'll talk about that with the next template. So for now, I'm going to click on finished. And we're done. Now I'm going to go over to safe. I'm going to open up Ed Bud's folder. I'm going to go to applications. I'm going to go to tools and import. And I'm going to browse out to where I have that Word document. And I believe I actually put it in here. So here's the reference letter. I click on OK and open. I choose my reference letter template. And it's just going to assign the document name with today's date, reference letter, and add bud. So here's a simple template created that I don't have to do any manual data entry for when I bring in the document. It's as easy as that. Let's create another template for timesheets. And let's make this one a little bit more elaborate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add. And I'm just going to call it sample, or no, excuse me, scanned timesheet. I'm actually going to choose a document security class for timesheets as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to add this template again to the specific tab in the cabinet in the repository for Myco Industrial Supply, my fictitious company. So I can go to the repository and I type in timesheets and I can quickly find the tab for timesheets for HR active employees. And I'll click on OK. The next step is to choose my associated managers. We'll just make this pretty simple and quickly do Word and Adobe PDF. All right, so now we get to the segments area. We're actually going to create the name of the document. So I'm going to click on Add. And I'm going to put in here week commencing. So that's going to prompt the user when they're filing the document away to know what the following field is here for. And I want to make sure I get that spelled right. I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to choose a date format. I'm going to click on add again. And this time I'm going to type in timesheet. And I'm going to do timesheet four. I'm going to click on add again. And I'm going to go in here and pick index value number one. I'm also going to click here and tab skip for all of these. I'm going to add another field and just make it a constant for an underscore. And I'm going to use tab skip for that one too. I'm going to click add one more time. And I'm going to type in here the total numbers of hours worked, or just number of hours worked, which again will just 
prompt the person who's filing the document away to type in that number for the timesheet. But again, this part, since it's enclosed in these parentheses or whatever you call them, um, this won't show up in the document title. And I'm going to make that field required. Okay, so I'm done with naming the document. I'm going to go to step four. Now with timesheets, we often see some type of workflow or routing process. And again, in templates, you have the ability to assign workflow to specific templates, which is another tremendous benefit of templates. And I'm just going to do a simple workflow that's going to work workflow specifically to me for demo purposes. But again, in regards to workflow, you can workflow to users, to groups, and by rules. In addition, in this consider in this situation, I want to have an email notification sent to me. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my email address and click on next. And now I'm done. Let's show you the template for timesheets now. I'm going to go over into safe. I'm going to go tools and import. I don't happen to be connected to a scanner, so I'm just going to import the document from here. I'm in the timesheets tab. There's the scan timesheet template. There's only one required field, and that's hours of work, number of hours worked. I can see that it's 18. So I'll go ahead and type in 18 and click on file. Now, since I assigned workflow to this template in post creation, you'll see that the document has the workflow icon rather than the PDF icon. And for simplicity's sake, I workflowed it to myself so I can go to workflow. And there's the document that, that I brought in. In addition to that, I decided to say, hey, I want to go ahead and include an email notification. Okay. So here's the email notification of the workflow item. And in addition to that, I decided that I was going to go ahead and email a copy of that timesheet to me as well, too. So you can do both when you're using post creation for templates. A very powerful feature. That about wraps up today's presentation on document naming templates. In conclusion, I just want to reiterate some of the benefits again. With naming templates, templates will name the file for you so you don't have to. So it eliminates or minimizes data entry. It also controls how documents are titled whether you're scanning or importing them in or someone else is. They also control where the documents are filed. It saves time when you're filing the documents because you're not entering in the data and deciding where you're going to file it. And lastly, it makes it very easy to find or search for those documents later on. Pete, please con Thanks again for attending today's learning series on document naming templates. If you'd like to contact us, please contact us at the information on the slide. Enjoy your day. Thanks very much for attending. Goodbye.